Okay, for those of you who don't want to watch to the end, I have returned this Blackmagic eGPU unit. I hooked it up to my computer, and one of the issues that I was trying to solve is, believe it or not, the Photos app on my 13-inch MacBook Pro, which is a loaded up. It's got the max amount of RAM. It's got the best graphics card that you could get and all that, which I admit isn't that great. Um, they only maxed out at 16 gigs of RAM. So my Photos app wasn't that snappy, uh, especially when I click on the magic wand to have it do its thing on photos and, and uh, it's just slow. So I thought that this device here would help me out and I actually talked to the Apple folks before I ordered it and they said it would. You can see here when I launch the Photos app, it uh, promptly will crash. And I did it twice, I tested it twice and it just crashes. And so I got on the phone with support, Apple support, and we went through a bunch of things and they came to the conclusion that there was something wrong. And I guess there was. And they also added, by the way, even if it was working properly, the eGPU would not really benefit you when using the Photos app. It, it benefits you maybe when using uh, Final Cut Pro or other apps that, that might take full advantage of having that external GPU but a lot of the apps will not benefit. And this is even after using a, um, a script that 9to5Mac published that uh, shows you how you can tell the computer to use the eGPU pretty much for all apps. So even after all that, everything I've gone through and so forth, basically the conclusion is this really isn't going to take a 13-inch MacBook Pro and make it perform like a desktop iMac machine. It's just not going to happen, at least not for most of your applications. Maybe for a few applications here and there, it's a good solution. But overall, I'm just going to wait until 2019, I guess, and buy the new Mac Pro that's rumored. I, I replaced my 2010 Mac Pro machine with this 13-inch laptop because I wanted the portability of a 13-inch laptop. And uh, th this was a nice concept to get the power of a desktop machine but with the portability of a laptop but I don't think this is ready for prime time I don't think it's really gonna result in that for most users so let me know chime in in the comments if you are able to get this thing to work and if it helps with a bunch of programs on your on your laptop and it, let me know if it doesn't and let me know if you have this same problem with it with the photos app crashing when you launch the Photos app, when you have the, um, the eGPU uh, connected to the device. So I'll share some links in the comments. I'm going to share a link to that 9to5Mac article with the script that you need to use to get, this, to get your computer theoretically to use this. And uh, maybe you can chime in in the comments and let me know if there's anything uh, that I'm missing here. But I just... Um, and, and I was just running these clips of me using uh, Final Cut Pro. That's what you're seeing on the screen, uh, just to show you how it was working. And that this was with the, um, the eGPU running. I'm going to also uh, launch the activity monitor here. So I'll roll that in so it'll clearly show that, that uh, Final Cut Pro is making use of the um, uh, both GPUs, both the internal GPU and the external GPU. And again, I'm running that 9 to 5 script, which may or may not be required to, to uh, take full advantage of this. But you can see right there, see the uh, GPU history going across there, how it's using both of them. So, and again, I haven't really had that much of a problem with Final Cut Pro being that slow. I mean, but most of my projects, they are 4K and they're not terribly long and when I export them I just go you know get a drink or something or whatever and it's usually not that long so that's that really hasn't been a big issue for me for the performance of Final Cut Pro but if it has been for you this might definitely be a good solution for Final Cut so let me know what you think chime in in the comments hey please subscribe to my channel 